In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can transfer our files from our computer into Push3. First thing we need to do is make sure that Push3 is connected to the internet. So we do this by clicking on the settings tab, heading over to the Wi-Fi page, making sure that your Wi-Fi that you've selected is on the same as your computer. Hit connect, you'll be uh, presented with a keyboard where you can type in your password um, and connect to the internet that way. The next step is to go into Ableton Live and under places on the left hand side in the uh, browser menu uh, you'll see that you've got two greyed out um, devices, one's called uh, Cloud and one's called Push. If you don't see them, all you have to do is go into your settings page, go to library and make sure in the browser behaviour the um, show push is on. That way you can see if it's on or off. Click on push, click connect. You'll be then presented with a um, password so to link up basically between your live that is on your computer and the push three. Um, so this is, so my code is 50, 66, 76. This changes every time you connect and we click connect. Now push three is connected to our computer. So now we want to drag files onto the push menu on the left hand side where we can transfer that into our user library on our push device. Once you've got a folder set up, I would recommend putting it into a folder because if you don't, if you just drag and drop uh, each individual WAV file, into your user library samples area, you're just going to be presented with um, an array of your samples that you that you put in there. So if you get it into some sort of order, um, I've named my file here. So all I'm going to do is drag and drop this into the user library. If we open up this tab here, we'll see we've got different um, sort of menus or folders that we can drag and drop in. So the one that we want to drag and drop in is the samples one. So I'm going to go to my finder and just simply drag that into there. Um, that's now completed. So we can disconnect um, from our computer now. So if we right click on push, click on disconnect. And now within push, them files are now stored in here. So to access them files is we press the plus button. If we just use a MIDI track for now, if we click on MIDI track, push the encoder down and then scroll all the way over to user library, push down again, you'll see that now samples, because that was a subfolder within Ableton, that's available. And here we have all of our samples in there. If you want to preview the samples, just press this button. And if you want to load it in, just push it down again. That then gets put into a sampler, or simpler, should I say, where you can play. And that is how you transfer files from your computer into Push.